everyone. Sorry about my voice. I have laryngitis. I don't feel that bad right now, but I can barely talk. This is the best I've sounded all day and the loudest I've sounded all day. I don't know what happened to my throat. I don't know if it's allergies. I don't know. All I know is this morning when I woke up, I couldn't even swallow. So, anyways, I went to Dollar Tree. I had to go to the post office and the library. And on my way back, I stopped by Dollar Tree. And I picked up some stuff. So, I have a purpose for some of this. Um, some of the rest of it. I'm making a survival tote for like emergency situations like um, when hurricanes hit because it is hurricane preparedness. Like I said, I'm trying to get through this. So one of these totes, these are the ones that lock the lid locks like I got before. Um, one of them, the tall one was $5, the shorter one was $3. And in the survival tote, I got batteries. I got double A and triple A. So this is the beginning, and I have to dig out more stuff that I already have and figure out what I don't have. I got paper tape. I got two vapor sticks. Um, one to keep in my bag for work. And one for the house. I got me a new um, pill organizer because I'm tired of messing with the two sections on my other one that don't work. They won't stay closed. So, and I need to be taking my vitamins. So, hopefully this these sections are big enough to hold everything. They should be. I picked up cough drops. I'm going to try these. I don't know. They came from Dollar Tree. So hopefully they do. So I got that one and I got this one. I don't know. I'll see which one is best. This one has 30. This one has 25. I don't know. Um, I got some plastic cutlery because I need to keep some in my bag for this for my lunches because I don't like to eat a lot during the day while I'm at work even though it's dinner time I don't know I guess because it's so hot like it's 90 degrees feels like 90 or it's 92 feels like 98 and when I'm that hot and I just don't like to spend a lot of time eating and I'm on a mission to lose weight so I got these to put like for two different days some some of this chicken salad or if I pick up tuna or whatever and then I can put crackers in these and I also picked up some of these I picked up two of these of the chicken yakisoba or whatever <laughs> I don't know how to say that oh my gosh my throat so also picked up the vegetable crackers so I will put like I said the crackers in these so they don't get squished in my lunch bag and then put these with it so that's a healthy snack whatever I'll keep adding to it so I can have like different things to eat that I don't have to cook so also found this Sandy hand sanding block kit so you can change out this part right here and then it has the whoops so that it has the handle on it so that'll be easier to be able to sand like wood down to make signs because I need to get on it doing crafts and doing jewelry I really do also for this survival tote, since I left all the coffee, all that instant coffee, all that freeze-dry coffee, 
all the coffee beans, all that stuff in Missouri, I'm starting over with even this stuff. So I picked up some instant coffee, and I'll show y'all um, the finished tote as well, as much as I can fit in there. This is just for the bathroom to refill the pump for the bathroom. And I also picked up, I found more of these soft beads to make the round, um, kind of like a bracelet keychain that women like. Like they're like really, really big right now. I picked up all they had because last time I got the other kind, hold on a minute, I got a cough. I'll try to cut that out. Anyways, last time I had different colors. I don't remember what all they were. I didn't get all they had. And then I went back and there was none. And these are like a silicone. These are not wood and more plastic. I guess they're plastic, but they're silicone. So I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six of those. So that was it. Um, I'm going to keep adding to this tote, and I also have these, there's my pill thing up there with my glucosamine, I also have this tote and this tote full of medicine, and I need to go through those and figure out what I can put over here in this emergency tote, which is going to be this large one here. I'm going to wind up putting stuff like this, not just for my lunches, but if you look at the date, um, it has January, whoops, you can't see that, can you? Let's see if you can see it. Um, where is it at? Right there. It has January of 2026 on these. Now you can see it. So these have a long shelf life. And I need to also stock up on some more water. Where's the date on this? Um, let's see. So this is February of 24. 25 so that's still next year because hurricane her, I'm sorry about my voice hurricane season is coming and we need to all be prepared to where if the power goes out and it shouldn't because I'm so close to I-10 but honestly anything south of I-10 is not guaranteed to not be hit by a hurricane and it's time to prepare so if you're anywhere in an area where i mean you never know it could be an earthquake it could be a hurricane tornado job loss whatever reason you should still be prepared with items ahead of time so i know all too well so anyways i'm gonna keep on getting like stuff like this there's tuna chicken um I, I also saw salmon i'm gonna sorry about my toes being in the way i'm sitting on the bed i'm gonna look at um walmart as well and see if these are cheaper than a dollar 25 a piece because if they are then i can keep on stocking up on stuff like this i also want to get like fruit and different kinds of snacks i already have some hard candy and um i mean you never know but definitely coffee i need to get more freeze-dried coffee instant coffee um extra creamer extra sugar and just a variety of different things and i might even have to up the tote to larger than this one i probably will and then also it's good to have everything together in case you need to 
grab the toad and go. Like if it's if you're being evacuated, you need to know all your stuff that you need is in a tote. And you need to be able to grab that tote and go. So it needs to be obviously way bigger than this one. Way bigger. But also manageable. And also since I have a dog. And then my daughter and her husband and my granddaughter also have four cats. Then we have to think about that as well. But I'm doing this part for me because they have their own stuff you know um maybe i'll talk to her about this but i don't know we probably won't be evacuated to that point to where i'm gonna do this as like a shelter in place type scenario to where if we can't leave and we're told to stay home and if i can't go to work and we lose power then we still need to be able to eat and we still need to be able to have like flashlights you know light and i don't want to be burning candles so that's my idea so i'll bring y'all back when i pull more stuff out and start filling this tote up okay also, these crackers, these global brand snack time stack pack, these come in sleeves, three individual sleeves. So this is pretty handy too. So then you're not just digging in an open box of crackers. So what I did, okay, so what I did, sorry, I had to cough is I put one whole sleeve in here. I ate two, but so minus two, there's one whole sleeve. I put a plastic spoon in here, fold it over the top of the chicken salad pack. And then I can put this in here and put this in my bag and then everything will be together. Okay, I had to fight with it for a little bit, but I got it in there. I only broke one cracker. So, everything's in there together you can't fit anything else in here i could put like a pack of fruit or something like I, i'll probably put some freeze-dried fruit in here and some of these in here but i did put a pack of the crackers in here i put the other vapor stick in here which I'll show you in a minute. I put the rest of the plastic wear in here and the coffee. There's still a ton of room. I can stick one of these in here. Um, I probably won't put any of the cough drops in here. I don't know, but I need to dig out more stuff to add to this. But as you see, this is pretty big like there's still a lot more room also this is the vapor stick it's not vix but Let's see if i can get it to focus non-medicated I was going to show y'all too that these crackers even have 2026 on them. If you can see that. So, I have both of these full now. I didn't put, I put all but this many in the second one because I probably won't even eat all the ones from the first one. So, that's it. So, chicken salad and crackers. And I'll be picking up more stuff as well, so I'm not worried about it. Okay, I opened all of those packages of these soft beads. And these are the ones that I had before. Kind of like tie-dyed. 
and this container is from Dollar Tree as well. So that's the variety so far. Let's see if I can find more. So I'm going to start making those keychains, and my daughter has one, so I can use the the um, size of hers to know what size to make these. So maybe I'll add like some of these in with the different colors and make it all colorful. I don't know. My daughter or granddaughter's in there coughing her head off too. <laughs> okay, I'm probably going to have to go with a larger tote, but it's still not full. See that? So I put the flashlight in there. I put gas relief, because the Lord knows. <laughs> I put the paper tape in there, the vapor stick, my spray bottle of hydrogen peroxide, um, or gel, just in case, a mask. This is a, I don't know how you say that, respirator mask, I guess. It's just a paper mask. I put my shower cap that I got at the thrift store in there, the batteries, a lighter, a razor, it's a new razor, um, batteries, I put the solar charger in there, the coffee, the crackers, the plasticware, and a new, um, rain poncho that I picked up at Walmart. I don't know if I'm going to leave that in here or not. I might. So I'm just going to keep adding to it. If I need to wind up putting all of this in a larger tote, then I will. So I still have more room though. Quite a bit. So I need to put more food in there. Like more food that are like pre-packaged that doesn't have to be cooked. And um We'll see what happens. I don't know. This is kind of just like an all-in-one 72-hour, 48-hour, um, 72-hour emergency. So I probably don't even need all of this plastic wear in here. But I just threw it in there. This is kind of like a get started, figure it out type thing. And I pulled out my vitamins, so I'm getting ready to start filling this up. <coughs> Excuse me. My voice is coming back a little bit better, not by much. So I'm not going to be able to put this vitamin C in there, but most of the rest I should be able to put in this other one. We'll see. I'll have to figure that out. Okay, I filled it back up. I have... I used all the weight control I still have. So that's empty. I put fish oil in there. The Osteo Biflex. I think. No. I could not fit that in there. Hold on. No. These pills are huge. Big old horse pills. So that's not in there. So I need to keep that out so I can take that every day. The Her Harmony, which I swear by. I get th this off of Amazon. And it is awesome. The vitamin C I could not put in there and the complete multivitamins are in there adults 50 and up because I'm over 50 of course so the only things that I'll still need to take that's not in there oh and there's also hair skin and nails but this I do because this keeps your joints from hurting so bad. Glucosamine. Whoop. Come on. There. 
Because I be hurting at work. All that running I do. It's like non-stop. Unless I'm at lunch or taking a break, I'm like non-stop, balls to the wall. Yeah. Literally. That's how I'm also losing all this weight. And I'm not going to go weigh myself right now because we just had fajitas and taco rice. So, and I'm drinking a wine cooler. So, anyways, I'm going to close this down because I can't talk anymore. Because I know I sound weird. <laughs> but I need to rest my voice. And hopefully my voice will come back. So, um, oh, I don't know. Pray for me. Pray that my throat heals and that my voice comes back. And if y'all didn't see on the last video, um, I feel like my voice is getting lower and lower from talking so much. <clears throat> Sorry. If y'all didn't see on my last, um, video... I got a P.O. box, and you can find the address in the description of the videos. It's in, it's going to be in all the newest videos, and I will see if I can also put it on the about section on my channel. So, if you need it for any reason, then that's where you'll be able to find it. So, I'm going to get off here and relax. I greatly appreciate y'all watching and stick with me. I will have new content coming out. Like I say, continue to pray for me that I get better. I don't really feel that bad. It's just my voice is gone. So, uh, I will catch y'all on the next one. I love y'all and have a blessed day or evening or morning, wherever, depending on wherever you are what time of day it is and i will catch y'all on the next one bye